Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing super duper well. And this is a bit of a Q&A video about Luminar Neo. Every time I post a video about Neo, I get lots of questions. Questions that I feel like I've answered in previous videos and new questions that come up and things like that. So this is my attempt to wrap all that up in a package, put a bow on it and deliver it to you in this video. I hope that it helps. Also, I answer comments as much as I can. I don't get to every single comment every single time but I try, I try real hard, my friends. It's just a lot and I love it and I appreciate it. So if you have questions that I don't answer in this video, and I know you will, put them down below. I'll do my best to answer them to the extent that I can. With that in mind, let's get going. The first question I get, and I gotta be honest, I'm starting out with a question I do not have an answer to, and that is, hey Jim, when am I gonna get it? I don't know. Um, they initially said it was a winter release, and then they said a late winter release. Late winter to me is kind of end of February. I think of March is the beginning of spring. So it's coming soon. I don't have an exact date. They've indicated that it's coming in February. So we're really close. Just hang in there. The beta is out now. You'll get a lot of features in the full release in February, but not every single feature. Some of those are going to come in a free update later. Another question I get is, hey, I don't have the beta. Where's the beta? How come I don't have the beta? Where do I get the beta? Well, as I understand it, the beta was released to those that were the early bird orders, which is 30,000 people. It might be a broader audience than that. I'm not really sure. However, there's an easy way to check. Just go to Luminar, or excuse me, skyloom.com, log into your account, and you will see all your software here, just like I've got all this stuff that goes back many years. You should see Luminar Neo Early Access Update 2, and you can just download it by clicking on that button. If it's not there, probably means it's not available to you at this time, and that's okay, but they are doing the public beta. I love it. I think it's fantastic that they did this, but you don't have to download the beta. It's not required for you to do it. You don't have to take it. You can just wait till the full release. Some people are saying, I've got it in my account. I, don't, I just want to wait till it's done and then get it then. It's fine. Do whatever you like. It doesn't matter, but that's how you get it if it's available to you. The next question I get is, hey, I've got the beta, but it's missing, you know, insert feature name here. Well, if you look on their website, they have product delivery stages. The early access version, I'm calling it beta, but the beta slash early access version has some of the features, doesn't have every feature in it. So it's not a complete product. It's giving you a good idea of how things are going and what direction they're headed. Doesn't have everything in it. The main release in February will include what's in the early access version plus presets and layers, but it will not have mask AI or portrait background removal, which will be coming in the first free update. And no, I don't have timing on that. But if you have beta and you're like, hey, where's the whatever? This is why it, everything's not in it yet. So another question I get is, hey, what features does it have? What's new and how is it different than Luminar AI? Well, hey, they've got a handy reference on their website. If you go to skyloom.com and then click on where it says Luminar Neo, scroll down, you will find this handy chart that talks about the differences in the apps between Luminar 4, Luminar AI, and Luminar Neo. New features include Relight AI, layers, automatic dust spot removal, automatic power line removal, Mask AI, Luminar Share app, and there's a new engine it's built upon which is faster and more stable. For me, the beta has been working fantastically. I'm having a heck of a good time with it. So lots of new features, and the difference between the apps, as you can see here, are pretty significant. The way I think of Luminar Neo is you're taking the best of Luminar 4, which is the ability to reuse tools multiple times because it had layers, which is another great feature of Luminar 4. And then you're taking those great things from 4, you're taking the great stuff in Luminar AI, which is a lot of the powerful AI-based tools that we've come to love and depend on, squishing that together and you're making Luminar Neo. So I'm not gonna bore you or insult you by reading this chart to you. There's a whole lot of stuff coming and there's big differences between the products. I've heard from a lot of people that stayed with Luminar 4 because Luminar AI did not have layers. Now you've got a good reason to move to the new product because Neo has layers. Plus it has a lot of the great stuff that's in Luminar AI. Then I've also heard from a lot of people that have Luminar AI and they're saying, should I upgrade and move over to Luminar Neo? This chart will give you a good indication as to whether the new stuff coming is important enough to you to prompt you to make that upgrade. I personally think it's going to be fantastic, but of course, that's a personal decision. I've also had questions about a catalog. Hey, Jim, is it going to have a catalog? Yes. In the beta version, you can see I'm on the catalog tab. This is my file folder structure on the left-hand side, which is really just a demo files folder that's on my desktop. Once I have the full app, I'll start to populate my entire photo library into Luminar Neo. But as of right now, I've just got a demo file folder. 
but it has a catalog. People are asking, hey, what's new in the catalog? Well, the truth is, as of right now, there's really nothing new. It's almost exactly the same as a catalog in Luminar AI or Luminar 4. I don't know what their plans are around the catalog, but right now they're focused on all the editing tools, and therefore the catalog, I think, is going to be essentially the same as it has been in the past. I've had questions about the catalog. Hey, I've got a Luminar 4 catalog or a Luminar AI catalog. Can I just use that in Neo? No, they're different apps and therefore they're different catalogs. Now they have said that they're gonna work on a migration utility to allow us to take an old Luminar 4 or Luminar AI catalog and convert it slash merge it into a Luminar Neo catalog, but that's not available at launch. So that's a future state. As it stands today, these are all separate apps with separate catalogs, which also means you cannot open the same catalog from multiple apps. They're all gonna have a separate individual catalog. Many of you that are using the early access version or the beta have said, hey, there's no section here for templates. What happened to templates? Where are the templates? Well, this is beta, so again, it doesn't have all the features, but if you go back to their website and have a look here on the product delivery stages, it actually says the main release is gonna include presets. And so presets are coming in Luminar Neo. They will be available at launch, as it says here. And we're going back to the old word presets. It's not going to be called a look. It's not going to be called a template. It is going to be called a preset. And my guess is, again, just a guess because I don't have the final version yet, it's going to be up here between catalog and edit, just like it was with templates in Luminar AI. That's my guess. The point is, they will be included in the, in the launch version. I don't know how many or what they'll look like, but they're coming. And so for those of you that like to use presets to get a one-click editing adjustment or a one-click starting position, if you will, with your photo, it's coming. I've also been asked whether the templates that you use in Luminar AI will be in Luminar Neo. And they've actually said that they will convert those over for you and they will do a transfer. So not exactly sure how that's going to work, but any templates that you have in Luminar AI should be brought over to Luminar Neo and be able to be used there. Going back to this chart, I've had people ask me, hey, do I have to have Luminar 4 or do I have to have Luminar AI in order for Luminar Neo to work? And the answer, of course, is no. These are completely independent and separate apps. I have Luminar 4 running. It's got its own catalog. I have Luminar AI also running on my computer. It's got its own catalog. I've got Luminar Neo running on my computer, and while I don't have much in it for a catalog, it has its own catalog. So these are all distinct and separate apps. Obviously, they share some common sort of DNA, for lack of a better word, but things are not shared between the apps, and nor are these apps connected in any way. They are separate and distinct from each other. So if you don't have Luminar 4, nor do you have Luminar AI, that's fine. You can get Luminar Neo and start with that. If you have either or both Luminar 4 or Luminar AI, you can keep them and still use them and also use Luminar Neo. And again, they are not going to overlap. They're not going to erase each other. They're not going to compete. They are separate and distinct apps that you can use independent of each other. I've been asked if Luminar Neo is going to support Photoshop style plugins. Like, hey, I want to use Topaz or I want to use something else, a third party product. And the answer, if you go to their website here, is it is possible and it says it will be added in later updates. Luminar Neo has layers, which allows you to send a file from Luminar Neo to another app. And the way it's worked like in Luminar 4 is it drops it in as a new layer on top of your base layer. Luminar AI did not have layers, wasn't really capable of doing that. But Luminar Neo does. It is capable, and according to the website, will be added in later updates. I'm personally looking very forward to that. There's quite a few products I like to use in combination with the Luminar. And in Luminar Neo, if I can include them in a true Photoshop style plugin workflow, then that's gonna be fantastic. Don't know exactly when that update is coming, but they do say it's coming. I also get questions like, who is Luminar Neo for? Should I get it? Do I need it? Things like that. It's a very personal question in terms of your workflow and your preferences and things like that. You might use Luminar AI and be completely happy with it. You might use Luminar 4 and be completely happy with it. Do the features and the functionality that's coming in Luminar Neo appear interesting enough to you to cause you to want to upgrade? If the answer is yes, it's worth trying. Here's a thing to keep in mind, and that is every time they launch a new product, once it's generally available for anyone to buy, they will offer a free trial. I don't know if it's two weeks or whatever, but if you're unsure at this point, just wait 
And then once the uh, it hits GA or general availability and is uh, sellable on the website and is launched, you should be able to download a free trial. Test it out. See for yourself. There are folks like myself here every week making videos about it. We'll be able to guide you through. So hang in there. And for those of you that haven't done it and have been asking, hey, I want to get a trial, you can get a trial after it goes to launch. So who is Luminar Neo 4? Well, it's a creative image editor, as it says here. So it's for anyone that's really interested in creative outcomes with your photos, wants to experiment, do things that maybe you can't do in other apps. For example, it includes layers, so it's going to allow you to do things that you couldn't really do in Luminar AI. It's great for folks that are beginning kind of their editing journey. You don't have to take advantage of the powerful tools that are in Luminar Neo to still get a lot out of it. A lot of AI-based tools that will do things for you. It's a great way to, pardon the analogy, but sort of if you're new to photo editing, you might be unsure of like different sliders and how they work. It's a great way to kind of have training wheels on your editing so that you can kind of use AI to see how different things impact your photos without having to fully understand how to manually do those things either in other apps or within Luminar. So these AI tools are going to give you lots of great control and great results, even if you're kind of newer or early in your editing practice. It's great for advanced beginners that are a little further along, but looking for some additional power and control and that sort of thing. I know myself, as I went through my editing journey over the years, as I've grown and attained more skills, I've wanted to do more things because I'm like, oh, I never thought about that. I can do this now, and then you know how to do it or learn how to do it. And so again, Neo is a great app for someone like that who's come along kind of past the beginner stage and kind of more of an advanced beginner or advanced amateur, and you want a little bit more power or control, or maybe you just want a little bit of guidance. Maybe you just want to use presets, but then go in and fine tune them. Maybe you want to create your own, things like that. There's going to be a lot of power and control. So it's for folks like that as well. There's a lot of folks that aren't happy with the way Adobe does their subscription pricing. This is an app that you purchase and own, and so it's great for those kind of folks that don't want to pay a subscription, but still want to have a very powerful app with a lot of control, but maybe you don't either don't want to subscribe or maybe you just don't like using Lightroom or Photoshop or any of those kind of apps. You find them a little bit more complicated and less intuitive. Luminar Neo is absolutely going to be a great fit for that as well. Anyone interested in creative edits like sky replacements or textures or composite works, other kinds of overlays, things like that, Luminar Neo is going to be a great fit because of the all the powerful tools and the masking that's coming plus layers, you're going to honestly be able to do just about anything that you can think about. And it's just going to be great for anyone that just honestly wants to enjoy editing photos simply because lots of powerful tools, lots of creative options, lots of flexibility. Luminar Neo is going to have all of that and I think is going to inspire you to do a lot of creative things that maybe you haven't been inspired to do simply because you didn't have the tools at your fingertip maybe didn't have the capability with your editing practice, or maybe you just didn't get to that point yet, Luminar Neo is going to offer you a lot of flexible creative options. Okay, another question I get, hey Jim, are you going to make a tutorial series about Luminar Neo? Yes, I'm going to make a whole lot of videos about Luminar Neo. Another question I get is, hey Jim, are you still going to use Luminar AI? That's a good question. That's a very good question. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I initially thought I might use both. Luminar AI is great at doing some things really quickly. Maybe you want to, you've got a template or something and you just want to kind of go bang, bang, bang and rip through a few photos really quickly. Luminar AI is great at that. However, if those templates are either recreated or brought over to Neo, Neo's engine's technically faster and you might want to just do that in Neo. So Neo is going to allow you to do the same things that you do in Luminar AI, but I think potentially faster not to mention more things. So I initially thought I might use both, but I'm leaning now more towards just using Luminar Neo because obviously it gives me what I can do in Luminar AI and then it gives me additional tools. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. More on that as I get closer to figuring it out. And I obviously have to also have the full version of Neo to really understand how I'm going to use it and how it's going to work for me. So I may not use Luminar AI anymore, but they're still supporting Luminar AI. It's still around. It's still a great product. So the other question I get is, hey, Jim, are you still going to make videos about Luminar AI? Also a good question. And I'm leaning towards no. I've got one more video made. And I've on, honestly, I've got a list of videos that I was going to make about Luminar AI. But the truth is, it's been out about a year and I've made roughly 130 videos about Luminar AI. I don't know. You tell me what you think. I feel like I may have covered it with all these Luminar AI videos I've done. 
So I'm not sure. At this point, I have a lot more questions and a lot more interest coming from you all around Luminar Neo because it's new. It makes sense. And I think it probably makes sense for me to spend my time making videos and educational content around Neo simply because it's creating more questions. Okay, so that's really it for this video. I just wanted to answer some of the common questions that I keep getting. And again, leave comments down below if you have additional questions. I'll certainly do what I can to answer them. By the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that as well. I've got a whole lot of Luminar Neo stuff coming, and I hope that you find it interesting. Thank you for stopping by, my friends. I will be back really soon with more videos, as you would expect. You guys take care of yourselves, and until next time, adios.